How many years until a human is on Mars? What is your prediction? I, I think it won't happen just because people want to. I think it, if it happens, it'll be because there's a geopolitical force operating mm -hmm. that will require it of one country relative to another. So I joke about this, but if China leaked a memo, the memo doesn't even have to be true, mm. leaked a memo that mm. said, we wanna put military bases on Mars, we're gonna have, uh, we're, we're gonna have people on Mars in 10 months. Right. One month to design, build, and fund the spacecraft, and nine months to get there. Since so, we'll set up a Starbucks and a McDonald's. <laughs> so, so, so that's how we got to the moon in the first place, even right. though our cleansed memory of that period tells us, oh, we're explorers, we're discoverers, and we have a charismatic uh, uh, pol uh, president. Who, it's like, oh, by the way, kill the commies. Or yeah, it was the Cold War, yeah. Wrote, wrote the checks mm -hmm. over that period. So um, <clears throat> I, I don't see it happening anytime soon unless there's a geopolitical reason to do it. Well, but we'll, com we'll continue to send rovers, for sure. Do you, do you think there's, uh, there might be an economic reason to do it, though? There's the idea Not of, to do it first, no. Maybe not to do it. Well, I, I, for a private company, not necessarily. So if, if SpaceX wants that's to... What that's what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, government yeah. is going to have to do that first. So you don't... You uh, don't my read of history tells me. You don't, and, you, and by the way, uh, SpaceX can have its Mars rocket, Right. But are the investors in SpaceX going to say, yeah, launch the Mars rocket to Mars and take people? And what is my return on that investment? Right. It's not only zero, it's negative. I think, okay? I think the impetus is going to be mining minerals, particularly rare earth minerals for batteries in space. That's what I think it'll be. Uh, sure. However, it's still the cost of that versus mm -hmm. what it is to get them here on Earth. Right. There's right. unlimited of those resources on asteroid. No doubt about right. it. Um, but you're going to say, <clears throat> here's the cost of iridium on Earth. Mm. What is it? I don't know what the late, call it $500 an ounce, mm. or, or it's not that high. <clears throat> but whatever it is, I can, go, I can go to an asteroid where the whole asteroid has got nothing but iridium, but it costs me a billion dollars to get right. there. <laughs> okay? <laughs> and so, no, I'm going to dig more holes and find iridium on Earth. Right. Yeah. So, uh, so you think it's more likely that if, if my theory is right, they would have to happen because one country or a series of country boxed out another country and they had to go do it that way. Or they have, we, we as a collectively as a species have to flee this planet or something. That's kind of what you're thinking? Uh, no, I'm just simply saying it. I don't see it happening outside. <laughs> I'm not being that deep about it. I'm just... Okay. <laughs> Uh, Do you look, think if we weren't at war with the Soviet Union, we would have gone to the moon? Hell no. Not a chance. No, that was... It was just to be cool. We wanted to be first. I mean, we didn't... It, we, we used uh, Nazi rocket scientists and Newtonian physics to land on the moon. It wasn't... Correct. Like, it, it was a matter of will. It wasn't a matter of being able to do it or not. We could go to... We could send people to, the, to Mars right now if we really wanted. Oh, yeah. It's not a matter of can right. we... Yes. Yeah, do we know how to do it? That's not even the yeah. issue. It ain't even about that. <laughs>